people can be pretty mean in England. Once when I was dressing up as Lady Gaga, I got called gay boy. I did nothing. I was just dressing up. Well, be careful. You know it's heavy. We don't walk out on the streets with them dragged up because that would just be inviting abuse from other people that we don't really want and he doesn't deserve. If he wants to go out in his glitter, he can do that, but he has to be in a show. Did you not reserve a table? You didn't, did you? Okay, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, the young fella that we're gonna uh, drag up. Did you get it? Nice one. <laughs> he's been dressing up as Lady Gaga for a, for a lot of years, and he's only nine years old. So what I'll do is I'll go out and introduce you, yeah. and then hand you the microphone out there. Okay. Is that all right? Yeah. Do you, want, do you do paparazzi? Do you need a chair for paparazzi? No, for a million reasons I need a chair. How do you keep your wig so tidy? So tidy? Like this? Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know, I just throw them around the same as you do. <laughs> that one? Yeah. <laughs> okay, good to go? Uh, yeah. Please put your hands together for the lovely Stefan, aka Laddie Gaga! When I go on stage, my heart rate starts going boom, 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 boom. But when I'm out there, I'm not nervous. It's the public you have to feed this drag to, and it depends how they react. I think he really, really loves doing it, but there's a couple of times that he's just suffered abuse at an adult's hands. Why do you have to dress like that, to sing like that? Are you gay? How the hell does he know? Whether he's gay, straight, or anywhere in between. He's eight, you idiot. <laughs> For me, Stevie Spit was the epiphany for us all, not just for Stefan. A couple of years ago here, I remember him walking in from the back, with his wig and his makeup and everything else, Stefan just went. Because he realised that actually what he wanted to do was acceptable and OK. And not just acceptable and OK, but that it had crowds clapping and cheering. <laughs> So this is, um, are you filming? This is my room, it's a bit messy. And I've got a Lady Gaga wig. Let me put it on. And uh, I actually love drag. He'd live in secrets, he'd live in makeup. He'd live singing. I think he'd like his life to be like that permanently. You know, living on a show bus with his dressing up and his makeup. And going to the next gig. That would be him, perfectly. So I think you should start with a really big one, whether it be Born This Way, Paparazzi, Bad Romance. Which, which... is the biggest one in here? Yeah. I'd say Born This Way. I think okay. it's probably the one out of all of these that people recognise the most. I thought Bad Romance was the one they recognised the most. There's so many songs, Maud. So you're going to do that first? <laughs> yeah. Right, that's number one. Number two, what do you want to sing next? Don't forget you've got these two. Bad Romance. Bad Romance is number two. You're going to be absolutely shattered. Do that third then. Because those two are Main big. Reasons. Yeah, they're going to be really big energy, aren't they? Yeah. So that gives you a little chance to sit down on your stool and rest. Job done. You need to go practice in that order. I just need to go get my shoes on. I didn't get involved in anything to do with drag until I met Gabby. And then obviously kids growing up, so it, it's all new to me. It's a good ride. It really is a good ride. 
made a perfect thing. I think people immediately, you say drag, they attach sexuality to that. And that's the problem. People need to separate it. It's nothing sexual, it's about expression. You are the art. That's it. And it's extreme. You were born this way. But art is extreme. You know, look at look at the Sistine Chapel. If that isn't extreme, what is? So drag is extreme. It's just, you're the canvas. Drag is a good thing for me. Helps me relax. Okay, I'll just use this as my eyeliner. I want other drag kids that I can actually see in real life, not through social media, not through a video in real life. Because, well, we can be best friends and do drag together. I got my tutus, this dress. We have this silver dress. I've worn this one. This one, this one. The thing I like about wearing dresses is when I am in a dress, I feel good. I feel good. I feel proud, uh, independent. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to bring this dress back in the rotation because before we had the safety pin it and all that, but now you're almost grown into it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There we go, there's the petticoat. Every child has the right to do what feels natural to them. And him dressing up in dresses, him, you know, wearing earrings, painting his nails, that's always how he's been. Don't let Fletch get hair all over your dress, though. Huh? Do you want to switch back to your shirt? Yes. I feel like Jason being this little brown-skinned boy who likes to put on dresses, you know, I want to make sure that people are accepting of him because that's terrible to feel like you're on the outside looking in. All right. You ready, Jason? Mm-hmm. All right. Let's see if I can get into this. Okay, like I said, one foot in front of the other like that, arm out. Turn. I know my dad wasn't supportive at all, really, of uh, gay people or anything like that. Oh, Scrappy, move. All right. I kind of broke out myself, you know, kind of distanced myself from that. Yeah. Like that. And then when you get to the end, I just try to stay close as I can to try to help him and I like I talk to him and I tell him that no matter what he can always come and talk to us about anything because kids can be really mean <laughs> and some adults here. onto West 6th Street, then turn right onto South Main Street. This is a big parade. She could reach my phone. Oh, there they are. Jason. I felt it on my nose. We're in the middle of the Bible Belt. 
There's a lot of homophobic, racist people, but he has a good support system. He knows he's got people. My sisters, when I was like about two or three, I was like their own little mannequin. How much did you use? I used to make So they would dress me up in their old Halloween costumes. My parents really liked how they dressed me up and stuff, and then they asked if I wanted to go to Pride Fest, and I said, okay. And then I saw this lady. This girl is on fire! And I thought, I'm gonna do what she's doing. I don't want anybody to beat him up or anything else because he's different. I just don't want him to get hurt. Even though I'm not that afraid of bullies, I do not go to school and drag because I don't want to take any chances. I have experienced bullying for plentiful reasons, but a lot of times it is the fact that I am a bit of a weirdo. I'm gonna scrape my eyebrows up. Until I look insane. I have. There have been people that have told me that I shouldn't and can't do drag because I'm a female. One person, she said, you can be a drag king. A hyper queen is a female who does drag. It's like hyper feminizing yourself. So for instance, with me, I go, oh, females are known for their large lips. Okay, boom, boom. And they like the long fluttery eyelashes. So I will have lashes to the moon. I just feel more out there, more open, more powerful as my drag self. When you have somebody who's that, like, focused and, and knows their own mind. It's kind of like you get to guide them, but you don't get to direct them. Generally, it will take her anywhere between two to five hours, depending on how complex the face is. Then she gets all dressed up and she generally does a bit of a prance around and then we take some pictures. What do you think? Love it. After about half an hour, you know, she's kind of, okay, I'm done, and back to Bracken. It has been a struggle for me to find places where I can go and be a drag queen and meet people because a lot of times drag performances are at gay bars or gay clubs, and I'm not allowed to go there. In regular times, her name is Bunny, but as soon as she's in drag, well, bam! Madame Bunny. I am going to Untoxicated, where there's no alcohol and there's no drugs and it's child friendly. They have a special guest star, Trixie Mattel. So I get to see Trixie. Fucking fraternize with children. <laughs> Family events are fun for two groups of people families and kid fuckers. And I am not. You know, that she was being like, you know, Trixie. She did the Trixie then. Oh, that's okay. I don't know what the thing is, but you know, okay. she's like being mean about it. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But 
Yeah. Like, I'm on in five minutes. Queen Lactatia! Right before you go on and you're just about to do the performance, it's a heart attack. When people think of, you know, nine-year-old drag queens, they think it's gonna be cute, it's gonna be something that they're going to have to sit through or like endure until it's over. And then he comes and he does this thing and they're like, oh my God, he's actually, he's actually really good at it. You're giving me a million reasons to let you go. You're giving me a million reasons to quit the show. You're giving me a million reasons. Give me a million reasons. Giving me a million reasons. About a million reasons. I Surprise your loved ones with this beautiful bedazzled lactation mirror. Lactation, there's an L, it's bedazzled. It's from the dollar store. I'm putting it in. There's really no going back from this now. Yeah, there really is. We bleached it, bleach never comes out ever. Ooh, look at it. I need you to sit up straight. I'm sitting up straight. Thank you. Oh my god, I can't wait to see how it turned out. Me too. I'm gonna get out of the bath and I'm gonna be like, oh my god. Yeah. It's terrible. You, I, I hope you would not say that, because that would be really ungrateful I and know. not very nice. If I love it so much and don't know how to express it to you, how do I tell you? I don't know, but don't get out and, and tell me you hate it if you hate it. Okay. Sorry, in the yeah. front there. Am I allowed to like just take it off and look? Yeah. yeah. Here, come sit. Oh my god, that looks so cool. Yeah, I want to try it, please. Oh, thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> that all of that just paid off. All of that just flashed in my mind. It paid off. I can't help but stare at myself in the mirror. Lactatia is definitely a fierce queen. Uh, her outfit is always on point. Her hair is always on uh, on point. Her makeup always on point. Now wait one second, don't you talk? Let me show you how to walk. Right to the left, click, clack, shake that booty, don't look back. Some of my friends think that a dry queen is a man who wants to be a woman, and that's not true. A dry queen is a man who puts on a feminine persona. Bitch, I'm everything. Yeah, she's everything. Some of the kids in his class, I think, overhear their parents talking about how inappropriate it is. And, but who knows what their parameters of inappropriateness are? I would love for Nemes to just, you know, not have to explain why he's wearing lipstick or like why he's got nail polish on or like, you know, why he's wearing like girls' shorts, like just to hang out with kids who totally get each other. <laughs> Isn't that great? <laughs> Stefan, who's another drag kid, my mom got in touch with his mom. I definitely love to meet him in person. He deserves to meet me in person too. I think I'll be really excited, jumping up and down. Lots of excitement, lots of flailing, lots of squeezing. It's going to be fantastic. 
you know, because when he goes on, he's the star of the stage, but he's not going to be the star of the stage. So it's going to be interesting for him. It's going to be really good for him. He wants the world, but he wants the world now. <laughs> cricket, big cricket, you please. A superstar never backs down. <laughs> Trying to keep him back and gradually move forward. That can be a problem. He throws himself on the floor and, it, blah, blah, and then he's looking at himself. He knows every single reflective surface in our house, whether it be a spoon back or a fridge door handle, he knows where they are to watch himself doing this. Uh, and it becomes about that. It's about the act. Everything is an act. When I say stop filming, you stop filming or else Stop filming! I hate you! I hate you! It's like that. Right, OK, so we have Lady Gaga joining us very, very shortly. We're just going to reset the stage. Stick with us, get yourself a drink. See if they've got a cocktail on offer. Not for you, but I want for me. It's Trace on day. When you've got little Adam or little John or little Jane sitting at home doing the maths, their English, that's what this is for Stefan. He's rubbish at school. He hates it. If I was a squillionaire, he would not be in an ordinary school. He'd be at home doing half an hour of maths, half an hour of English, and the rest of it would be sing your socks off, kid. Remember your words. I will. And yeah? if I don't, don't forget just... your words. Be positive, calm and breathe. Ladies and gentlemen, he's an absolute star and incredibly shy. Give it up for Lanny Gaga! Ready, dude? <laughs> Have your haters, you know, boy in drag. No, it's not right. It's not right. It's everybody else. Everybody else. And if they're happy, it makes him happy. I don't like him being on social media, although he's on it. It's only with me and his father at the helm. Now, can you disappear? Because me and Daddy have to check all this Facebook muck and rubbish that you lot get us into trouble with. Go on, skedaddle. It's bad enough that he might get abused by people that he goes to school with, etc. But to be abused by a faceless stranger? No. Like this one here, look. We don't know who you are. That's a little bit weird that they're given a phone number. Christ, I, I put a post on, I'll get 20 likes. He gets 1,268. <laughs> it's so annoying, but he's a star. He's a star. Bless him. Why are you popping in? Just things my, for my trip. Ah, yeah. I'm just getting all the important stuff. Okay. I'd love to be there. The thought of not being there is killing me. But Dad's there, you know, it's the next best thing to me. Sorry, Paul. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Honey, don't laugh. At least you closed it. Oh, 
black and five looking at me sideways. Like, wake up and happy. Why you, why you? Sometimes Jason gets nervous and he wants to plant himself in one spot on the stage. Move your body. Move your body. So we're trying to have him remember, work the stage, go back and forth. You need to be making that eye contact and making that connection. Jason. Yes, this one? Fix it. Mm -hmm. There we go. Perfect. Okay, now let's do the purple here. 2016 was uh, Jason's yeah. first pride. Um, you know, he went to church camp like the day after that first pride. I have to say that in the back of my mind, I had some concerns about that. I just went outside for a second, and then the sky said, why are your nails painted? And I said, because I can, because I can paint them. And then he was looking at me with a look, and then I don't know why, but he goes to tell these other counselors. And then they have me sign a form saying men are with women and women are with men. I was mad. The pastor and his wife came up and said that they had quote unquote concerns about my son. This yeah. ain't the 80s. Okay. This ain't the 80s. I don't care if you were born in the 80s, go get your well, groove back. I don't back. think he was born in the 80s. Either, he probably was, because he's he, so old fashioned. People have these opinions of how they think kids should be. I think that people who are intolerant or just scared. Who wants pancakes? Okay. Baby G, you hungry? I've just found that, you know, people are your blood, but it's who's there for you, no matter what. That's who is your family. Tell me when. Uh. Oh, I already know it's gonna be a while. Yeah. That enough? Yeah, that's good. My husband's family, they're a little bit more against it, I guess. Um, they have their convictions and that's fine. But he is my son and, you know, he's my baby. What else am I supposed to do but support him? Yep. So your ankle can rotate a little bit. She comes out, plays with us every prize. We're excited to have her. Can with I that being said, at this time, yeah. we're going to make a thunderous round of applause for Miss Susan B. Anthony. Yeah. Would you slip on and got you talking crazy? Looking at me sideways. His personality totally changes. He, uh, it's from real quiet and shy to like all sassy like. <laughs> it's Susan, it just like gets a lot more courage. Makes my heart burst. I love to be able to see him get out there and be brave enough to be a boy and put on a dress and a wig and makeup and just go out there and sing and dance. It makes me so proud of him as my kid in the spotlight right now. Four pairs of pajamas. Well, wait, wait. Would it be three or four pairs? He can't wait to meet like Tasha and all them over there. He's just super excited. He wants to see somebody else like him. And, like around here, there's nobody. Okay, I don't know how to fold this. I think he's gonna like it. At least it'll be out of the Bible Belt. I need 
three pairs of clothes. I feel like it's gonna go very, very well. And I think Jason's gonna be right at home. I can't wait to see the hotel I get to stay in because I get free shampoo. I'm done packing. And then if anyone leaves the room and leaves the shampoo and conditioner, I'm taking that. I like shampoo and conditioner. I think that he's gonna be a force to be reckoned with. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to the Born This Way performance, and I am excited to meet the other queens. So far, I've got the choreo down. I think it's really fun, and I think it's really like up and pumping. I'm just really, really like excited because I think it's gonna look really, really good once we all have everything down. I think it's gonna work out well. I'm pretty sure it'll work out fine. A lot of people think of Vogue, they think of Madonna's Vogue, which is a totally different thing. Vogue isn't just this, which a lot of my friends mistake it for. Vogue is a full culture and dance form. Uh, it's really fun, difficult, and creative, and it's a very good cardio workout. <laughs> Brecken doesn't lack friends, but she doesn't necessarily have friends that fully understand where she's coming from. But she's just always been one of those kids that stands out as being um, different. She has so much knowledge about drag, and it's really interesting how she's, like, her aspirations of learning more about Vogue culture, too, because they, they do coincide. Um, they are definitely part of the same world. To have confidence in the world is important. And whether being seen meaning, like, like, look at me, or like, look at me. Getting a little bit suspicious as to whether or not we're at the right place. I don't know why, I just have my doubts. What? That's fine, see so studio, it's totally clear. So this year I was really, really excited to go to the Van Vogue Jam Kiki Ball, because tonight they were announcing basically the debut of House of Asalia. I'm here for this skirt. <laughs> the whole family was going to go in all white and silver. It was kind of going to be our thing. Like, hey, this is the family. This is the House of Asalia. Asalia. <laughs> okay, group hug, everybody. Go. More all ages events. I was just informed that the venue actually doesn't host minors. So it is quite disappointing knowing that I'm not allowed to be a part of our big announcement. This is like so depressing. Like, this, like <laughs> yeah. Came to the Vogue Ball and left. <laughs> Okay, that was beautiful. She thrives off of the energy and wants to be a part of the scene so, so badly and to sort of have that door closed, I think it's really hard.
This is disappointing. You're part of it. I know, no, but people don't know I'm part of it. I have so much to practice. I have to practice voguing. I have to practice other things. Practicing for, um, what else do I have to do? You, you, you practice makeup? You follow I, pr makeup I have tutorials? to practice makeup. I have to practice. Well, you don't have to. You do it because. No, I, I have to. Okay. My one day I'm not, I'm, one day I'm not going to be with you. Growing up is hard. I think it looks so hard to even just look after yourself as one human being. And I do not want children to have to set myself aside and deal with them before I have to deal with myself. I want to stay a child forever. We are going to a store opening. They're gonna have a little red carpet set up for everybody to come in, and we have merch that we sell with his, his little funny face on it. Thank you guys to be here. I really appreciate your presence. Uh, crazy idea. I don't think he fully understands how famous he is. As long as it never ever infringes on his like personal life, because like, I know what fame does to people and I know how it affects, like, affects their lives. And yeah, you, you have to sacrifice a lot, I think, for fame and I'm not willing to like, give that up so easily, so. I think there's like this really common misconception that these kids are being like sexualized. And that's weird to me, because like at the end of the day, it's like kids putting on makeup and fancy dresses and lip syncing. That's all that it is. <laughs> like, I don't understand how hard it is for people to understand that. Like, I just like, can't be that dumb. This is like a corset of a dress. <sighs> Sister. Did you put it? Enough. Well, no, it has to be in all the way. It's in, it's in as, okay, wait, as much sorry. as I can get it. Mama, it mama, tie it tight. Okay. How does it feel? Um, I'm not gonna wear it like this. I'm gonna wear it like Donatella. Thank you. Every famous person needs to have a name for their fans. As I like to call my fans, the lactators. My lactators. Wow. Thank you, Lactasia. <laughs> Thank you, Lactasia. <laughs> Darling, every match we're both up there. <laughs> Tonight is the Unicorn Ball. We have the one and only nine-year-old drag sensation Lactasia from Montreal. And she's wonderful as she has the most amazing supportive parents. Yeah, not all of us, not all of us were that lucky. I'm gonna have a lactation. When you think of my mom, she's a typical mom. It's just that she's supportive of um, my drag. Parents who are supportive know how to raise children, and the parents who aren't supportive can burn in hell. I hope y'all ready for a runway real soon. Why don't we? Uh... Lactation, why don't we show how it's done? Bring it on! If I got more famous, it might stop being fun. And then I'll start to slowly shrink until I'm this little fruity pebble and I have to deal with everything that I've said I would do. I'm not mad or sad about what I'm doing. It's just it's kind of overwhelming. But when I'm kind of caught in the moment, I love doing it. Girl,
is this? Oh, that is awesome. Another dollar. Hi. Hi. Oh, I'm Bracken. Oh, this is exciting. Yeah, and I like your hair situation. It's cute. I like it. Thank you. He's a little shy at first. That's all right. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Nervous. I feel crazy right now. What? Do you want to come sit down? Okay. <laughs> Hi, I'm Bracken. Nice to meet you. Hi, Bracken. Hi, Hi I'm Jason. Nice to meet Hi, you. Hi, Jason. It's exciting, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. I've Sorry. never ever met like people like this ever, ever before. Hey, I think you have to get off. Actually. Sometimes. Sometimes, like, sometimes, oh my gosh. this is crazy. Bye. Jason. Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my I am Jason. I'm Nana. And Stefan. And little Stefan. Hi. Hi. I think he has found his tribe. Oh, I want to show you this, uh, the transparent dress. Because yeah. it's so cute. I know, right? No! It's from this store called Gimme, Gimme, Gimme. It's beautiful, isn't it? It looks like one of those Here, I'll shower. Just Here, what what are are oh, it may or may not fit you, I'm not quite sure. Oh, I'm but, gonna um, clip it on. I can, oh, clip it on? Yes, well, you can try this one. This is beautiful. Oh, that's for my, um, that's, I think that's for my homage to Donatella Versace. Does this contrast amazing with it? Yeah. Yeah, I think this contrast is amazing. <laughs> contrast is amazing. Oh my, dude, he was like professional in those heels. Those are high too. Be careful. Oh, I want to find They're actually, okay, so. so these are uh, all my heels. Um, I have these ones, which are my runway Sister. heels. Let's do it one more time. And don't wait for me. Be confident and be fierce. Five, six, seven, eight. My mama told me when I was young. Yes. And then boom, get slow. Make it chest. Climb up. Make it big. Whoa, OK. Don't hurt yourself. And try to, like, don't go too fast, OK? It's like four counts. One, two, three, four. So don't go like one, two, three, four. Right now, you all focus on, on Bracken because she has the choreo. She, she already got this on the back. Okay? Try to get, uh, and get inspired by, by that, okay? You're performing. That's your home. You're, you're supposed to be ready, fierce, confident, performing, okay? My God. I, it blows my mind that people think that. One other thing that really bothers me and it might make you guys uncomfortable too is you know getting called a child abuser and that we're throwing yes. ourselves to the oh. mercy of the gays and that we're you know sexualizing them. I've had some words with people and good. You know I don't I don't go to cursing directly, but you know um, I do say you know you raise your children your way and I'll raise mine my, my way. There's a a lot of that hate and. 
Missouri. Mm -hmm. Why are you turning your son gay? Yeah, like, why are you abusing? And I'm like, I'm not abusing. And I mean, it's not turning him gay. I mean, he is who he is. We all have more than one child. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. Not all our kids <laughs> are flaming queens. Yeah. You know. Yeah. yeah. One of them sits at home in his room <coughs> playing Fortnite and hanging out with his mates, and then my other one wants to go to drag shows and be fabulous. It's hard. I'm not kidding. It's like, yeah. try it. Yeah. Mm. Wait, your mouth has been on it. Why don't you try I don't, have, I don't mind so sipping hard. other people's drinks. Like, I sip with other people's drinks, but I don't like bite other people's sour beans. But other people's food. We still haven't thought of our, like, group name. What are we going to call ourselves? Well, we could be drag kids, because, I mean, we're kids doing drag. Yep. I thought we're, we could be, like, the fabulous duck so wings. We're like Tasha and the drag kids. What? No. Hell no, girl. I know, right? No, it's not all about you. <laughs> it has it's to be about all of us. It should be Laddie Gaga and the drag kids. Yeah, because no. you keep taking over the How about the fabulous drag kids? Or what about the drag babies? Oh, oh my god! No, I do not like bees. I am a bee, but I don't like bees. Get away, get away, get away, get away. <laughs> no, 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 no. Spacing, spacing, spacing. You're here. You're here. To so go back. You're supposed to be here, Stefan. Robot. Then told him, told him. Guys, Jesus, focus. Oh my God. Hands performance. You're performing like Deja. We all know he wants everything to be perfect, but he is yelling at us and we're just kids and we've only been dancing for like a tiny fraction of the time that he has been. So it's hard for everything to be perfect. Your spacings, uh-uh. The movement, uh-uh. Okay, girl, I'm screaming, I'm screaming too much at you. I'm not supposed, I'm supposed to be here, sitting down and be like, yes, but I'm not. I'm like, here, guys, spacing, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not supposed to do that, okay? I'm not, I'm, I don't wanna be mad at you, okay? I'm doing this because I want you to kill it. Tomorrow is the drag performance. Do you feel ready? <laughs> Hardest part is uh, doing the dance, just learning the dance. Wait, wait, wait. Do you know why I'm looking at you that way? Because every time you do that part, you're always watching Bracken, you're always watching like Tasia to see what they're doing. Right now, you're by yourselves and you don't need them. You know the choreo, so you don't need to watch them. Yeah, good luck. Let's try it, let's try. Susan, where are you? Stay with us. I need a little bit more practice before tomorrow. Stay there for a second. Perform, perform. Um, I need to work on that. You know, you have to move your hands around and then, yeah, I need to work on that because that's hard. That's hard to do that. And then, um, really nothing else. Five, six, seven, eight. My mama told me when I was young. Do you know the choreo? Yeah, I know. What is it? You forgot, okay. We have some work to do. Let's go. Take your time. Yes, beautiful. Individually, this would be a great show for me. 
as a group, I'm not too sure because we all have different strengths and we're all like going the same way, but in different ways at the same time. So I'm stressed out that we're not going to get ready in time and that um, the performance isn't going to be awesome. It's gonna just be like, all right. Dabby dabby dab dab dab. Dabby dabby dab dab dab. Dab 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 dabby dab. No. This cannot be. Powder puff, boop, powder, powder. Powder, powder puff. Here is the powder puff. Oh no, this has gone wrong. Dad, stop interrupting. Uh, You're getting me very uh, angry uh, right now and I don't want to get angry on camera. But I am! They're not yours. Sister! Ah! Hi. What did you do? Hey, girl! Look! Hey, girl, hey! Sorry, it's such a mess, but... I mean, this is my room, so you should be asking me, but um, it's fine. Okay. Wait, is that yours? Yeah. I mean, it is kind of my makeup, so you should probably ask before you use somebody else's makeup. Sorry. Um, but I know, it's just, uh, it's like cool to some extent if you ask me and then I can kind of work on it with you. But um, going ahead and just using somebody else's makeup without okay. asking is kind of uncool. Okay, I'm very sorry. Um, I'll, I'll pack it up. I'm supposed to go pack it. Yeah, but I can pack it up. Right. No, it's alright. I have, I have a way of packing. I'm sorry, Grant. I'll clean it up. No, it's alright. Please, I just want to have it. No, I, I'm, I'm doing... I'm doing no, I'm clean. Uh, please, I just want to clean it up by myself. Like that. Mm -hmm. Makes you more confident in yourself. Mm -hmm. okay. I think he's gonna be good. He might be a little nervous at first getting used to all the people in the crowd and stuff, but I'm excited. We're excited about it. Can't wait, really. And do your best and have fun. Yeah. Do your best and have fun. Cause... Show everybody how fierce you are. Yeah, I know how much you love drag. This is tedious. This is like the tedious part, I think. Normally he's used to performing by himself, but I think he really liked the idea of performing with a group. He doesn't seem to feel like they're all taking up his space. Crap. They got that one line right there. Did you arc it up? He didn't arc it up. It's just that they're very like pronounced. Oh, this is good. This is as good as it's gonna get. Calm down. I hate how I do my eyebrows. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Come here. Let's just start it again. Do you want me to do them? always little bumps in the road with personalities and big personalities trying to get it all together for the big show i feel like my um my makeup isn't looking great today it looks good it's just you're getting stressed it's just looking a little bit messy with the whites but just do it how you did it last that when you did it the other night you didn't do as deep right i will come and help you clean it if you want okay. why don't you get on what you want to do and then i can help you with the rest okay okay it looks good, Debbie. I think that they don't realize how crazy this is, how big this is. Like, they're performing in front of, like, all these people. 
I can't wait to see them tonight, honestly. So, so special to me. But that was so, so silly of me. I was like so happy. So happy you could cry. Yeah. It was crazy. It was amazing. The crowd really liked it and they had fun. That's important. And Lady Gaga started crying. At first, I was, I thought that was something wrong going on, but like she kept on going and I was like, oh shit, this is like a real professional right there. Okay. Well, nice job. I'm okay. so proud of you. And even Susan, all the way to the rehearsals, this personality wasn't there. I think she was like nervous and, and or whatever. But then I talked to her parents and they told me that as soon as she gets into the Susan appearance, she like, boom. I'm a winner in everyone's book. Now. This was my first trophy on a Vogue ball. I'm getting so good at face, literally. I am a face champion. The Blair and Elle Barber's War of the Elements 2017 Vogue Ball. Obviously, you want to go and, and win it. Um, but I think with kids, it's a little bit different because, like, you know, you don't want your friends to, to lose. Now I got another grand prize drag's face because I'm the champion. Is it really that important? It's just a trophy. Mama? I don't think any of the other kids are walking. I think some of them are gonna walk face. I think Stefan's gonna walk face. You think Stefan's gonna walk face? Yeah. I think Bracken might walk face. I think everybody might walk face. Everybody might walk you face. You should show them how, and I then you might how. have to like compete against them. Okay. I love doing that. So, Jason is super excited. He goes, I'm gonna win all categories. I don't know about them other queens. I'm gonna win all of them. And I was like, I don't know. I mean, you're going to get, you're getting some stiff competition there, you know? He was like, I don't care. I'm gonna win and I'm gonna get that money and the trophy. Okay, so just walk on a tightrope. It's gonna be cool seeing him up on the runway. So it'll be his first time on an actual yeah. runway. Yeah, so it's really good. You wanna make sure that, um, now, it's not supposed to be forced. It's not supposed to be like, I'm breaking my back just to do this. It's like, it's supposed to feel quite natural. Just a subtle little doop, doop, doop. Knee goes down, hip goes out. And now, foot flat. And now, 
And you need this to go down. You wanna try that? This is not all natural for you. Just walk like a regular person. I'm still like serving face. And so they like it. So they like it if you ha are confident. So if you're shy or if you're like, gotta make sure I do this right, they are going to cut you. That's Susan that I know you have in you. I need you to bring that out for me. I was doing my Anna and then what did happen and it came out again. <laughs> oh, don't do that. Oh. We could have still made it cute. Um, oh. Okay, well, we could have still made that cute. Okay, come with me. We'll go to your room. It's okay, we can fix this. Now look at me and close your face. <laughs> um, <laughs> this kind of feels like a spa. Uh huh, only a slightly more stressful one. Oh, I look terrible. Oh, I look like a monster. Sorry, I'm in a bit of a hurry. I just, I want to make sure that we got this done in time. Yeah. And just, if I ever move your head, just go with it. See? There. There. There we go. Look at me. Sisters forever. Uh-huh. There we go. It's fun doing somebody else's makeup. Have you ever done your mom's makeup? No, my mom doesn't let me. She's always like, oh, maybe another time. Which means never. Smile again. Mmm. Because I need those apples in your cheeks. Ooh, apples. You know I love myself some apples. Mmm. 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 Can I stop my mm. Uh, no. Mm. Harder? Mmm. -hmm. There we go. <laughs> Sorry if this is uncomfortable. I just really need to get this, like, shape. Mm, yeah. I know. Otherwise, it's gonna look bad. Beauty is pain. And pain is beauty. That's right. Yeah, that's my girl. They are super heavy today. There she is. Look at how flawless you look. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, you got it? Now what do you think? I think it's amazing. What do you think? Yeah. We have to get on another one. They have the hair on. Oh my god. If this was England, you'd be getting some hard, hard looks. Hold on tight. Step back. Hold on tight. Hola, mi amor. Long time no see. Yes, Bye. how's your day? Where's Lactasia? Nemes, like, he's always the one kid at the ball. So I think, like, going as a group and having four of them be there, it's just like, it's, it's we're making a little bit of, like, ballroom history. She's really nervous. With Vogue, it's a community thing, but it was like a competitive element, and she's not used to that side of performing. This is your space to come out, to show yourselves, to feel strong, to feel powerful. I think he's just a little overwhelmed. He wants to make sure that he pleases everyone. He does what he's supposed to do. Where's her parent? 
This is Hay right here. Come on, up here on the stage, on the stage. Come on, on the stage. Come on. You know the parent? Yeah. Yes. I just want to say thank you. Oh. It takes parents like this to make amazing human beings. I think I'm gonna do face. I am not doing bow. I am terrible at bow. If me and Namus battles, oh no, he's a champion. You know, like cats and puppies fighting. I think it'll be like that. Put it out to her, who's gonna pick the first two battles. Ooh! Let's get right to it. I wonder how the judges will take this. I wonder if they'll prefer Nemesis' proper runway or Stefan's, like, crazy cool, like, wacky runway. Sister against sister. One of them's not gonna be happy in the end. What happened? 
She run grand prize. Uh, um, you are the best dress. Did you say congratulations to her? This is like a big thing. Congratulations. Oh my God, this thing is so beautiful. We take it back and show your Kiki house, right? I, know, I gotta be like, ah, uh, ah. Uh. At first I was shocked, then I got a little bit emotional, then I was shocked again, then a little bit emotional, then really, 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 really happy. It makes me so happy because he found all these kids that are like just like him and makes me smile. You know, some kids just don't understand where he's coming from, and that's okay. I'm gonna miss you. But to find kids who are just like him with the heels and the makeup and the clothes and dancing and singing, it's like a piece of a puzzle that has all come together now. Nemes cave to the exhaustion first. He had to sleep. I'm a ghoster. I would just kind of like sneak off into the back and then just be gone. So I'm like, this is perfect. Like, I don't want to ghost out on everybody, but I'm like, like I'm so tired. It's one of those things like you get kind of so caught up in kind of getting them on the stage and like being mom wrangler that you don't really think about like how meaningful it is when they're, they're on the stage until they're there. For her to be able to be there and be surrounded by people who understand her, like that's amazing in itself. And then to see her like win it, I just like, I was not prepared for that. Hello, I'm Donna Donna. I think the whole trip uh, has been awe-inspiring for him. You know, temper tantrums and tiaras. And we had it all there, didn't we? You know, even the parents have got on. You know, the kids got on so well right from the beginning that the parents as well. So it, it's, been, it's been a lovely trip. I've never been friends with kids who've been this passionate and this happy about doing drag. I get to say goodbye, right? It made me feel better about myself being a drag queen because I knew that I wasn't alone. This is really jazzy music. It's full of like. I've had the best time ever. I'm gonna miss you. And I don't want it to stop. 